Max Design's Mimic system is a clinical trial in a test tube that simulates the human immune response in a high throughput method. Mimic system immune responses enable rapid, clinically relevant predictions about the efficacy of immunotherapies and vaccines. These predictions can dramatically reduce the cost and time required to bring such products to market. The Mimic system has four steps blood collection, the peripheral tissue equivalent module, the lymphoid tissue equivalent module, and functional assays. The first step is blood collection and preparation. In collaboration with Florida's blood centers, we collect white blood cells from pre-screened donors. We take the white blood cells and process them into either purified PBMCs or isolated subpopulations of the PBMCs, such as monocytes, T cells, and B cells. The second step in the MIMIC system is the construction of the peripheral tissue equivalent module. This module mimics human skin or peripheral tissue for a representation of innate immune responses. We prepare 96 well plates, seated with a collagen layer covered with a human cell endothelium. Each of the wells is effectively one human test subject. The purified PBMCs or monocytes generated during blood collection and preparation are placed on top of this endothelium. The monocytes selectively migrate through the endothelium, and excess cells are washed off after an hour. After migration, they spontaneously differentiate into subsets of antigen-presenting cells with a range of phenotypes, such as dendritic cells or macrophages. The dendritic cells reverse transmigrate through the endothelium, mimicking traffic across the lymphatics. After this reverse transmigration, we expose the dendritic cells to test immunogens, drugs, or vaccine, and extract the antigen-pulsed dendritic cells using a pipette. Some now potent antigen-presenting cells are then placed into the next module, the lymphoid tissue equivalent module. The lymphoid tissue equivalent module is a co-culture of T cells, B cells, and follicular dendritic cells that simulates a lymph node to initiate adaptive immune responses. When the dendritic cells present their antigen to the right receptor-matched T cells, a chain reaction occurs. The antigen activates T cells, which can then activate B cells. These B cells can then differentiate to plasma cells, generating antibodies and other cytokines. We can examine both cellular and humoral immune responses to an individual. After a week for a recall immunological response, and about two weeks for a naive immunological response, we remove the immunocytes and biomolecules for analysis. The final step in the MIMIC system is the characterization of these immunocytes and biomolecules using a wide range of assays, such as ELISA, ELISPOT, ICCS, cytotoxic T cell assays, and neutralizing antibody assays. Shown here, the vaccine-generated antibodies neutralize the pathogen, stopping it from entering into the cellular host. Our clinical trial in a test tube mirrors the human immune system more closely than any other model available. The MIMIC system simulates biological efficacy of an immunotherapy or vaccine on human population subgroups rapidly and consistently. These results enable the design of more rapid and incisive clinical trials potentially reducing the time and cost to produce new drugs and vaccines.